I think home is, I mean, it's about roots. And when I think about home, I think about a shared experience with other people that's, you know, specific to time and place and the history of a place. I'm from a rural area in Michigan, and then I moved to Chicago to go to school when I lived there. So when I go back to the rural area and I see those flat landscapes, these structures really stick out of the landscape, the transmission towers. And so I'd, I'd always seen them, and now I really got to appreciate them as sort of these line drawings in, in space. You know, when they're silhouettes, they look like line drawings in these structures, and they're very functional and then um, the topographical maps are another way for me to talk about the landscape that's the same time it's more literal and less literal, the more abstracted and also more literal because they're like this mathematical approximation of a landscape and I sort of see all these lines connecting between them, the line drawing of the doodle, the line drawings of the transmission tower silhouettes and the line drawings of these maps. I'm not really attached to a certain medium and I, I think I'm, I, I, it's not hard for me to change from one kind of media to the other. I'm a very mixed media person. I can use concrete, I can use cardboard, I can use canvases, I can use charcoal. So it's, it constantly changes. The past year and a half or so has been a lot of this paper and cardboard, but it continually fluctuates according to what the piece needs. When I was younger, I was really inspired along this path of content that I've been doing um, because at that, at that point in time my dad was telling me about when he was in college the same age as I was um, and he had to drop out for a year to work in an iron foundry and he always told me he worked in a factory but I didn't know that it was this sort of really intense labor that he did when he was that young um, so I've been attached to that story of his and I've kind of gone wider to include sort of general labor ideas of where I'm from and then sometimes it narrows back in again. And so he was telling me this story about the cart that he had to pull and you know some of the detail, the mundane details of that job. And then he was absentmindedly making this doodle to help illustrate his point. Um, and so I took that once the story was over and, and turned that into a drawing. And, it, and that was the way to have, for us to share authorship of the piece. So it's his hand and it's my hand together. Well, I definitely, I, like, I don't make work for myself, you know, it's, it's not a diary, it's really a story that I want to tell other people, so it's not really complete until I can show other people. So it's, it's crucial, and, and it makes me, it, it fulfills the pieces, they're finished upon exhibition.